game have any sound? All right, we have to pick seven. Uh, super ultra high res VGA doesn't really work. And really it's just, it's just resolution. That's the only difference. Anyway, I tried some of the other ones and it's like, if I choose a ultra high res VGA requires 1024 by 7768 with one meg of RAM, then you have to choose your chipset. And uh, I don't think I have any of these. All right, seven. Yay, more of Swirled. Woo! You can pick A1. Uh, I tried that, it doesn't work. Or you can, can't, yeah, I configured DOSBox correctly, yeah. Uh, music will be turned on. I guess that means I gotta turn it on. But first, I could turn on some of this music. We can do the giveaway. You can still type Viper if you want to win the giveaway. We just got some three hours of relaxing Super Nintendo music. This is from Waterworld. Who knew Waterworld had good music? The winner is... Jimmy! <clears throat> More rats world. <laughs> you played at a youth drop in you, youth drop in center where a church had a bunch of computers, board games, and a Nintendo Play It Arcade. You played Morph's World there? Wow. Better question is what are you going to do with the babies? I have no idea. No idea. Okay. Uh, I don't want to use the mouse. Get out of here. Select. Okay. Different characters have different capabilities. This is your first time playing. You should probably select the race ogre and the class fighter. Ogre, fight, ogre fighters tend to be easier to keep alive. Alright. You can reroll. Okay. Imp worshippers, ogre monks, human mages, etc. Each one offers its own special challenges and advantages. Uh. Average characteristics of each race. We'll be able to re-roll stats though. Okay, so intelligence, wisdom, constitution is endurance. Agility is probably speed. You know, typically intelligence means spell power and wisdom means healing spell power, that sort of thing. We're gonna be a human. Yeah, that's the map theme from Waterworld. There's the list, Jimmy. Uh, we're gonna be a human this time. Okay. Height 66 inches. How many inches am I? Uh, 60. Uh, 72, 73, right? 60's five feet, 12 more, yeah, 73. You could design your own character. Assign 15 additional points to the above characteristics. Okay, we'll just re-roll. We want strength. That looks pretty good. How good can we get though? Need some strength, some constitution, some agility mainly, I think, for a human character. I need 25 strength. I should probably min max this shit. That's pretty good. We're gonna keep that one. Female! I guess we're female. Alright, Star Wolves 3.
So today I did work on my game. I worked a lot on particle effects. Um, I made a cool ring particle effect whenever the angels attack you. And I made a little dust trail whenever you run in the game. I had one whenever you land, but I kind of need one whenever you run as well. It looks pretty cool. And I also... Uh, well, I already... What's up, Vort? I also... Um, recently, I, I filed for an LLC. I actually own a company now called Pale Blue Studios LLC. And today, I, uh, since that was approved, I went forward with the Steam Publisher page so I can publish games under Pale Blue Studios LLC. But then they're like, you need uh, a bank account with this company name. So I opened a bank account, a business bank account. Pale Blue Studios LLC checking account and yeah closing your house you mean buying a house that kind of closing or selling a house Road Rash 64 big pile of meh yeah I don't know which one that is like, like that's uh, that was also on PS1 but I don't know if it was Road Rash 3D or Road Rash or Oh, nice. Third house to buy. Awesome. Fighter must be useless since magic seems necessary for the deeper dungeons. Yeah, probably. We're just going to be playing this for an hour today, though. We do have high strength, agility, and constitution. Worshipper, very poor fighter. You can cast mainly priestly spells. Very peaceful attitude. Monk, doesn't use weapons, can't keep any items, magic or not, deadly with hands, and has the ability to cast spells without spell books. So that sounds pretty cool. Priest, moderate fighter with many defensive and subtle spells. Should have high wisdom, but all characteristics are important. Mage is probably going to be the best one. Combination of fighter and wizard. Very hard to start, very powerful later. Needs well-balanced characteristics. But for now, we're going fighter. Oh boy. Uh, are we turning or moving? We're moving. Okay. Okay, so... Holy shit. Uh, okay, that, the top one is in front of me. The bottom one is behind me. The left is to the left. God damn, this is difficult. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not afraid. Not afraid of getting banned anymore. Oh no, this looks fucking disgusting. Oh, it is. Yeah, I'm looking at the map. Use ladders to send to deeper, more dangerous places. Um. D to dig a hole. I assume this is where we... Okay, now it's behind me. Now, okay, can we... Turn sound on. Okay, now sound is on. I can't open the door? Oh. I don't understand doors in this game. Found a trap door with a keyhole labeled 10. Unfortunately, you do not have the correct key. This key can only be found by killing a le level drainer near the level this trap door leads to. All right, you can just go through doors.
Here's my money. 47 jewels in pocket. View stats. Weapons. Fist. Armor. these colors are or these slashes okay that is down so D to go down all right hour in the dungeon trapdoor the keyhole labeled 100 Whoa. go down again oh kill it uh, fight Fight, fight, fight. You killed it! Do I need to... Do I need to pick up the loot? I don't think so. Hmm. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Fort. Oh, by the way, did you know, uh, Shining the Holy Ark on Saturn has a character named Fort? F-O-R-T-E? Started playing that yesterday, and I was like, oh, Fort's it! There's Fort, right there. Okay, I have 40 hit points, so... Killed it! Expand map. Okay. Nice. Help. any money. I'm not happy about it. Where's my money? Ah, oh, there we go. He found three stones. The pile weighs about zero pounds. They're mostly gold stones. Take all. Well, I got six gold stones now. Whoa. Hello, red puffball. You're dead. Um. Oh, trapdoor labeled 130. Okay. Killed it. You're ready to become first level. Go to the town, find an inn, and stay the night. When you wake up the next morning, you'll be much more powerful, and the monsters will really come after you. I think the game might be lying again. I want to go to town. That's down. Ten stones, fifty pounds, take all. Go 
Should they go up? Alright, we're getting out of this shit town. Here, up. You're in a temple. Oh. You can buy a spell. Not for the fighter, I don't think. I started right here. That's a temple. How do I get out of here? This is where I started. Temple. Explore the wilderness, return to the... Okay, I'm standing on top of the town. Explore the wilderness. Whoa. Well, this is something. Five continents. The dungeons of any kind will have different colored walls, but other than that, wilderness travel is primarily a sightseeing expedition. Okay. Uh, shift cursor, you move quickly. E to enter it. Buy boats, travel across oceans and seas. Okay. Shift and go. Piss off. We're sightseeing. 100k. God damn. Well, we're gonna be rich soon enough. Oh my god, can I go back? Take me back to the dungeon. Shit. This is jank as a motherfucker. Is that a well or something right there? What is that? No idea. 10k. Okay. Oh my god, we found a dungeon. Let's go. Now, how do I get out of here and go to town? Bank! Rob bank. Come on, do you really think I'd let you rob my own bank? Fuck. Damn you, Steve. Don't even let me rob the bank. Flea bag in! Hey, there it is! Congratulations, you'll become more powerful. When you gain levels, you gain health points, and you fight better now. You should be able to 
beat monsters more easily, or you can fight nastier monsters. Okay, red. Red is an in. See, we've learned something today. All right, now we go down. Into the dungeons. Whoa, it's a blue puffball. Strength raised by puffball. A cup of health. Okay. It healed me automatically. That's an ape. It's dead. Trap door. That's a ladder down. Cobalt dead. Down we go. Ugh. 70s version of the cartoon? Yeah. I watched it a billion times when I was a kid, and let me show you something else I had. It's a vinyl record of The Hobbit. It was a storybook and like narration and s stuff from the from the cartoon. So it had some unique narration, I think, and it had, you know, audio from the cartoon. And it had all the songs, of course. And it had a, you know, a the, 12 page book of full color illustrations. And I love that shit. It was great. What the fuck is that? A walking sword? Looks like my dick. Good news! Oh, I found a club. And some stones. Weapons. Three. Club time! We're going down, down, down. Level three. Yellow spider. Cup of health. Excellent. Giant blue ball. It has 162 HP. We gonna get him. Yeah, I did read the book and uh, Lord of the Rings and everything as a kid. Killed the giant blue ball. Oh, we're going down. Here on this level, hiding somewhere near is a monster that should fill you with fear. Use X for a hint to find the shadow dragonfly. Go west, it says. I'm not going west. We gotta go to an inn. Oops, I had a button and it didn't let me take the treasure. Be careful about that. A sinking feeling. Oh, I fell down a chute. Shoot. Oh no, another chute. Does it mark those on the map? Fuck. 
I need a red one. Okay, that's a shoot, right? Yeah, okay. They do mark the shoots. That's good. All right. Should probably seek medical attention for that. I know, right? Goblin Town. That's not how it goes. A sinking feeling. Oh, we fell down his shoot again. Find a spell paper. Minor protection. Chain armor! Yes! We're becoming more and more powerful. We're down to 52 health though. Good nose! A short sword! Which one's better? The short sword. I guess it's a bigger number. That means it's better. Oops. Good news. Take the armor. 62 pounds of stones. Yes. Oh, yes. I have 2,381 copper stones. Field plate, baby. I want to go to the damn inn. Cup of health, good, didn't do much. Carrying a lot of weight, this allows monsters to take more strikes at you. You should go find a bank. I should also find an inn. Up. Trap door. Okay, um, up. Don't fall on any shoots. Up. by puffball. Is that permanent? I don't know. Uh, view stats. Raise dead contract is in effect. It is. Puffballs can do you good or they can fuck you. Alright, please just let me go to an inn. This is not an inn. This is the wilderness. I need an inn. That's not an inn. That is a temple. This is a store. 
I need to convert my gems to money, I think. Short sword's pretty good, though. I need red, red, not yellow, not blue, not orange. I need red. Shit. I need a teleport spell. That's the bank. Okay, hold on. No, bank. Uh, convert to jewel pieces? Jewels in pocket. Okay, so... Right, now I don't have any... Right, it converted it all to jewels. Okay. Right. Wait, what did that say? No, I don't want to dig a hole. In, I'm using a WASD. Oops. Okay, where is the damn inn? There it is. Yes, we're not responsible for your possessions. All right, now we have 307 hit points instead of 119. Do they only raise your stats? Can't they make your stats go down? Cure wounds. 252. That's only four. Only gives me four hit points for 30 JP. That's terrible. There's another N now that I don't care. So is this randomly generated map or no? I'm thinking no. But I don't know. Deposit money. 100. It is RNG. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, hi. You find a stick! I don't want a stick. Take it anyway, and maybe sell it. I don't know what that said. You got a giant gray ball, too. Tag him. Yeah, so uh, a mage with the ability to cast a uh, a spell to heal yourself would be extremely valuable in this game already. You can tell. So like, it seems like you don't need to draw a map for this game. But at the same time, you kind of do. You don't, but you do. Wow, I got fucking locked in here. I have to dig a hole. 
Digging, 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 digging. I don't want to ever hear Might and Magic 4 and 5 ever again. Still digging. Hi, Red Sujin. Uh, I played it when I was a kid. I did play it quite a bit when I was a kid, but I never baited or anything. But I will do a full playthrough at some point. Now, more of Dungeons was the sequel to this, I think. Which I never played. I only played this one. Okay, so the reason I never beat it as a kid is I only had the shareware version. You can only get down to a certain level. And I definitely got as far as I could get in the shareware version. This guy's got 463 HP. I have 211. If I don't miss all the time, I can kill him. 9% the same one year later. Gotcha. Poison and disease will lower your stats. Yikes. 201 levels, so I don't recommend drawing a map. Right. Yeah, yeah, X. Yeah, I did see that. Expand map. We're definitely winning this. Eventually. Well, let's see how right you are. Uh, Bahamut Lagoon, actually. was a Super Famicom Squaresoft game. I don't think that came out in the US, did it? I think there's a van translation out for that. It has a massive amount of health points for level 4. I do have a high constitution and a high strength. I guess it's constitution that's health points, right? And translation, yeah. I forgot all about that game. Do I need to play that one? It looks like Final Fantasy. I definitely should play this. If it's old school turn based JRPG, I'd love it. Got fantastic graphics. Oh, it's a bit tactical as well. So you do have to move around the battlefield. It doesn't look like complicated tactically. You just kind of move over to the enemy and hit them. So it's not really a tactical strategy game, it's just a JRPG with some movement moving around. I guess. Uh, Bahamut Lagoon. I gotta put that on the list. Fucked up that light green ball. That's right. We're going down. We should be going up and back to the bank, but we're not. We're brave. Found a mace. Man, it's not as good as my short sword, I don't think. Oh, I can do another level now. Gotta go back up anyway. Two hundred 
201 levels, so... Does it tell me what level I'm on? We have Constitution of 23. What level of the dungeon? The door is jammed? Are you fucking kidding me? What is bricks? Oh god. Oh god. The door is jammed? What the fuck? Bash it open. Now it's not jammed anymore. Okay. Alright. Alright. Anyway. Hi, Drake. I've been playing an Elden Ring randomizer with the Diablo style loot system. Oh, yeah. I, uh. Oh, it means the monster is standing on the next grid. Oh. Behind the door? That would make sense. I did see, like, something about uh, an Elden Ring randomizer with Diablo style loot. I can't carry any more stones. A sinking feeling. Oh, well, but I haven't played Elden Ring at all. Should probably play Elden Ring before I play an Elden Ring randomizer. I don't own Elden Ring, and Sierra won't buy it for me. Oh, the shoots. Oh, you're killing me. So this game is, uh, you know, it is what you're looking at here, but this game is very addictive. That's why I loved playing this as a kid and I was so disappointed when I hit, when I got to like the max level that I could because shareware. I was very sad. So many stones that I cannot get. I'm so sad. Actually, impossible to beat this game as a fighter. Yeah. I know you need some spells. I would definitely do the sage. Wisdom raised by Puffball. Why am I killing them if they raise my stats? To obtain a key for levels 20 to 29, okay. Yeah, keys, gotcha. Uh, up. And there's a fucking inn right here, oh my god. Nice. And I need a bank now. May I have a bank? Is this a bank? That's a temple. All the hotels. What do I need like blue or I don't know. Blue or something. Orange is outside. I would write down what the different colors mean. Red's a hotel. Damn it. Where am I? I'm up there. Shit. 
I'm gonna have to like go back down. I'm gonna go like way down here. Do I just have red, yellow, blue, green shops? Yeah, I want to play this one and the uh, dungeons. Can't carry any more loot. I need to get out of here. And I'm ready for another level. Okay. You can wait rather than fight. Oh, okay. And it just fucking increases your stats. Big thugs beat you up and throw you out because you can't pay your bill. Oh, fuck. Look at how many stones I've got. Motherfuckers. It's a whole nother area. I'm excited for my full playthrough. Fun video game. Can't even carry a single pound more. That's wilderness. Yellow is temple. I need blue. I need a bank. Can't even afford a hotel. There it is. There it is. Oh, fuck you. They're all right over there. <laughs> Let me over. Oh my god. I'm getting screwed. I'm getting so screwed. Oh my god. It doesn't connect. Oh. Let's see if Xavier is right. Yep. The mines of Narsha. Narsha, Narsha, Narsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Fucking me right now? There's nothing here. Wow. There's a shop over there? No, that's a fucking shoot, not a shop. Why does this map hate me?
I know, I know how to get through the library, okay? I need no help. I got this. Unforgiven is what? Not a sinking feeling. Sinking feeling. Uh, wouldn't you know it? Fuck mana games. floor with banks but there's nothing here amazing bank oh my god convert to jewel pieces all right now we need to get to a hotel so orange ones could be bank or could be uh, outside. Shop. I want that long sword. I have field plate already, I think. Yeah. Which cost 9,900. I guess that was a lucky drop. Now I need red. Which there are none. Oh, hey, Stefo, Super Mario Cuckold 2. Bowser back in town to hardcore Peach in front of Mario. Uh, have you seen it? I have not. I don't really have much interest in uh, watching Bowser Hardcore Peach. Okay, so I need to drop armor, lose item, armor, skin. Oops, it just won't come off. Oh. Chain mail. Lose item, armor, scale mail. 
Lose item, weapon, stick. Since you can't seem to sell them. What's up, Zoro Master? Bank. No, I need a fucking hotel. Damn this game. Oh. This is Terra Enigma, he says. Yes, it is. <laughs> There's two shades of orange. Please have a hotel. There it is. Woo! Yes. Level 7. 500 hit points. Back into the dungeons we go. I like those pixel perfect swinging poles. And, uh, Zoro. Isn't it amazing how fucking pixel perfect that shit is? Mystic Arc, is it on the Super Nintendo? Probably. Truly amazing. Leather armor, leave it. 50 stones, take it. Platinum stones, oh baby. Plats, baby, straight plats. Puffball. Brown puff, constitution drained by puffball. All I did was wait, and it fucked me. I need to go down. Okay, Shadow Dragonfly, go west. I'm gonna go get me a fucking Shadow Dragonfly. I think I can take him now. It might, I don't know. Go north. By the way, the fucking game doesn't tell you. But you do have lives in that game, Tolanin. Uh, so what you should really do is just, uh, save state on the password screen. You don't have to play from the beginning of the game every time, just, uh, you know. Save state at the password screen. Or else you're cheating. But they give you, you know, like a, a continue point. That's it. Oh, that's a blue dragonfly, not the shadow dragonfly or whatever. So, uh... They give you a continue point, right? And you have three lives. If you lose three lives, you go back to the continue point. Like each screen, you'll respawn on if you die, but if you die three times, you're back to the continue point. Rifle dudes right at the start of the stage. Oh yeah, whenever you spawn in and immediately get shot to death, that's the best. 
That's the best. Oh. Looks like my dick, El Grail. Oh. This is Do Re Mi Fantasy. Super Famicom. Oh my god, the door is jammed from both ways. I can't do anything. There's an enemy in both directions. I have to dig a fucking hole. Is Do Re Mi Fantasy the same as Milan Seeker Castle 2? I don't think so. But I don't know. The only thing, other thing you need to know is there will be enemies that you can't seem to kill. Uh, but you just have to attack low and then high and then low and then high and it'll do it. It has to be low, immediately high. Low, immediately high. And you're lucky you're on keyboard for that aspect because that will absolutely shred your thumbs. Wisdom raised by Puffball. Why are you hurting me so much? This thing is gonna kill me. It's level 20! Oh, we got him! Oh, shit. Is this guy gonna be level fucking 20? 19. It's only got 50. Oh god, I've got nine health points. Run for your life. Up the ladder. Okay, what about that one? I'm scared. Wait. Wisdom raised. It dies automatically. I just hit wait and it... It upped my stat and then left. I can't be fighting you right now. I gotta go. Got nine hit points. Everything's go everything goes black. You are drifting. You feel strangely detached from the world. You hear wispy sounds that sort of resemble music. You can't seem to find your body. Now you're falling down. Here comes the earth. Guess you'll be staying a bit longer, but you've been, you've been raised by the temple as per your raised dead contract. Note the loss of constitution. Now, by, now might be an excellent time to climb up the ladder and buy another raise contract. It may be more expensive than last time, but hey, they've got a service you really need and they know it. Wow. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah. Yeah. Can't just hold a direction for 15 seconds? Well, 99% of the enemies you can. There's only one enemy type in the whole game where you have to do something other than hold a direction for 15 seconds. Suicide explode on you? Gotcha. I don't think it hurt me though. I don't know if it did or not. Anyway, I think that's all of uh, Morif's world for today. We died. But uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm ready to crawl through these dungeons. I'm ready to slowly grind my way through rather than uh, run through it like I was doing. Show rat. 500,000 points. I don't know where the rat is. Probably getting fucked by Rocket right now. 
Probably. No, if he was fucking it, he fucks it, he always brings it in here and sets it down near me and then fucks it. You know, he doesn't, uh... He doesn't fuck in the other room. It's just like early Kyler said, if you don't watch, I can't get off, you know? <laughs> For 500,000 points? Okay. Yep. Alright, well that got me excited to play this. Hopefully it wins a poll soon. <clears throat> right now... Time for Sega Saturn. Plug that in, plug that in. Wrap this cord up. Well, there's like 20 of various genres, like more of stones, more of pinball, that kind of shit. There's at least two dungeon crawlers. Used to play some Morph's Pinball. I probably did. And I did play Morph's Stones. I, have, I cannot remember. There's three dungeon crawlers. Oh. What's the first one? Morph's Revenge. Yeah, basically the same shit with the uh, worse graphics, pretty much. Wireframe. I don't know if I want to play that one. Maybe I should, though. Maybe I should. Extremely primitive. I love extremely primitive. I'm extremely primitive. Yeah, so what I did for swinging on those pixel perfect poles is, you know, you can't just run at them and jump. You gotta, like, stand in a certain place and do a, you know, and do your longest jump. And if you grab it, you grab it. If you don't, you climb back up there and you try standing on a different pixel and jumping from there. That's the only way. It's gonna get so bad. It's gonna get to where you gotta do multiple, multiple pixel perfect swing jumps in a row, swinging from one to the other. <laughs> it gets nasty. There was one level that took me like three hours. Every other level was like an hour at most, but there's one. I think it's like the next to last one. It took like three fucking hours do like five screens yeah okay